Hi, I'm Jenny, and today I'm gonna to show you how to knit the Lacy Spot Cloth. This pattern is one of our most popular patterns from our 52 Weeks of Dishcloth series. You can get the free pattern as a download on our website. Just search for Lacy Spot Cloth and you'll be able to download it right there. I'm gonna be using a US six or four millimeter interchangeable circular needle, but you can definitely use straight needles for this. It's not important at all. I'm also gonna be using Dishy, which is a worsted weight cotton yarn. So you can use Dishy or any other cotton yarn. You just wanna make sure that it's a worsted weight yarn. Here is the final sample here, the original. And so you can see it has a really wonderful lacy texture to it. This is a great beginner lace project. So if you're new to lace, this is gonna allow you to practice a couple of important lace techniques, but on a really small manageable scale. So again, this is the lacy spa cloth. It does have gauge listed, but it's not important, especially if you're just making a dish cloth, you know, if it's a little bit big, it's a little bit small, it's really not important, and it's gonna be blocked later on anyway, if you want to. And uh, with a ball of dishy, it comes as a 100 gram ball of yarn, and if you're using that, you can definitely get uh, two dish cloths out of one skein. So let's get started. All right, so to start the lacy spa cloth, I have cast on 42 stitches. The first thing that we're gonna do is knit three rows. So in this tutorial, we're not gonna cover how to do the knit stitch or how to cast on uh, for your project, but we'll show you everything else that you need to know. So again, I'm gonna be knitting three rows and that is gonna create my bottom portion of the border for the spa cloth. It does have a garter stitch border, so this border is also gonna continue up on the left and right sides. So I'm gonna work these three rows, and then I'll meet you back here for row four when we start the lace pattern. All right, so I've knit my three rows, and this creates the bottom border of the spa cloth. This pattern includes a border on the left and right side, so the first three and the last three stitches are always gonna be knit. So I'm gonna knit my first three stitches here, and that's for the border edge. And then all you have to do to create that nice lacy texture is knit through the back loops of two stitches. So you're essentially gonna be decreasing these two stitches into one. To knit through the back loops, you want to go through the back loop of one stitch, the back loop of the second stitch, and then you're gonna knit those together. And now because you decreased one, you have to add in a stitch, and to do that, we're simply gonna do one yarn over. All that means is putting the yarn over your needle. You're just gonna repeat those two steps to your last three stitches, and then you're gonna knit those last three stitches for the border on the opposite side. So again, we're gonna do a knit two together through the back loops by inserting our needle tip through the back loop of the first stitch and the back loop of the second stitch. So it's gonna look like that. I'm gonna wrap my yarn around the needle and then pull it through both stitches at once and then do a yarn over one more time. So you just continue doing that across the row and when I get to the end of the row, I'll show you how to finish the row, how to end that stitch pattern and start the border and then you just continue in that same manner. So I'll meet you back here when I get to the end of row four. All right, as you can see, I'm getting close to finishing my row four here. I'm gonna continue in the same way that I've been working across the row, knitting two together through the back loop, doing a yarn over, and as you can see, I have stitches to do one more repeat of that. So I'll go ahead and do that one more time. Knit two together through the back loop. Don't forget your yarn over. And now I have three stitches at the end and I'm simply gonna knit those and that's gonna create the border. All you do is you keep repeating that until you have eight and a half inches. So I'll go through and start this row one more time I'm gonna knit those first three stitches because they're my border stitches. If you find it helpful, you can always place a marker 
before and uh, your first three stitches and right before your last three stitches as a little reminder um, to just knit those instead of working the pattern. So you want to knit two together through the back loop and then do a yarn over. So as you can tell, it looks a little bit different once you have your first lace row here. It can get a little bit tricky because as you can see, this yarn over here will sometimes slip over the stitch and you wanna be careful to not knit those two yarn overs together. You wanna to be sure you knit the yarn over and then knit two together through the back loop from the previous row together. So for example here, you just wanna make sure that you're catching this one and this stitch. So you're always gonna be knitting two together through the back loop, a yarn over, and a knit two together from the previous row. It can just get a little bit tricky when your stitches are all squished up and so you, that's one little tip you wanna be careful of as you're knitting across this row. But other than that, it's really simple, really repetitive, and easy to memorize. So I'm gonna work a few more repeats of this and show you once I have a little bit more progress. And I'll meet you right back here. All right, so I've worked several more repeats of the lacy spot cloth, and you can see how the texture is coming together. It makes it an extremely springy, extremely uh, stretchy fabric. So one thing that you're probably wanting to do after you knit this uh, dishcloth is block it. That's really gonna help show off the texture. And you can see how the border is taking shape on either side. And I'm just gonna keep working this until my spa cloth is eight and a half inches long. After you have that length, you want to knit three more rows at the top to create the top border, and then you just bind off and you're done. So I'm just gonna keep working this and then I'll have my very own lacy spa cloth. And just like that, you will too.